think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help. And fast. Un what? What's that noise? Alvin, this is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Corps are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the Lords for the Renan Top Brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. 
And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights, each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I saw, too. What were they? Hold on. A lot just happened here, so let's take a minute. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. Exactly. Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the Lav 2 marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave. That's for sure. Whatever Lenegus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on, we don't have much time. I think Hoodle senses something. We should be able to cook here. I think I'll read my book a little more. This flavor, why it rivals the cooking of my own chefs in the palace. Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but... That must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. 
We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? I'm looking forward to breakfast. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Good graces, then. Hmm. Over so soon. Take this! 
Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms, and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn for that. What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. to pull through. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Shion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Shion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed, and yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. 
However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? <sighs> Tell me, Alfin. No wonder we could... with those moves. I could say the same to you. <laughs> Good thing we're on the same side, huh? It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think... think Voron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, an opponent like this should be easy. Be careful, everyone. This one isn't normal. Pesky airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours truly. Easy and snare with me. Devastation! They're all running after me. I'm coming, Renwell. I'm not scared. I can't really make a break. Air thrust. Well, looky here. Out of my way. This one's all mine. It's over. Devastation. Raging cascade. Take this. Fight this over. Dance is over. That's that's a wielding power. Now I can everything. We got flyers. I've got this. Let a marksman handle it. Go in. All yours. Please. Please. Make your move, enemy. Don't let up until Join it's in. the milk and plates here. Yeah. Yeah. Right Please. Make your move. Station. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Cyclops. Yeah. Nice technique. Cut. Cut. We managed to pull through. I see supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zugal cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Voron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along. Out of our way! Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. 
That equipment should come in handy. Is this a what? joke? Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose, anyway? 
Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renis Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell, are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the Wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the Wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course.